All right, what's up, y'all? So, uh, let's talk some sports today, shall we? Um, going to keep it to basketball for this one. Um, because, of course, NBA playoffs, baby. Not only the NBA playoffs, but we got the WNBA starting up. And speaking of the WNBA before I even get into anything, I gotta start out with this. Um, Melissa Smith. Sensational rookie out of Baylor for the Indiana Fever. Four games in today being her fifth game in the WNBA already setting records that's what type of talent this girl is and I gotta shout her out and uh, throw up some prayers for a quick recovery she took a nasty spill during today's game against the Atlanta Dream. Um, it wasn't any, it was a no contact play. It was just one of those instances where um, uh, I, I, I really don't know. To me, it looked like she just tried to uh, turn too quickly change direction too quickly to me what it looked like to me is that she twisted her ankle I don't know whether it's a sprain I don't know what it is but definitely an ankle injury and obviously for a basketball player that's no bueno um But yeah, she initially went back to the locker room, came back out to the bench with some crutches, and then ended up leaving again with some paramedics, um, presumably to be hospital to get checked out. And, uh, yeah, hope you make a quick recovery, Melissa, because we need you in Indiana. We need you. You are a special player. And, uh... Yeah, send in all good vibes your way. Yes, yeah, sticking with the Fever. Shout out to another Indiana Fever rookie. Destiny Henderson for this absolutely ridiculous shirt design. Um, granted, she got robbed of a couple buckets today. One, I just, I, I, I don't know how it did, just didn't fall in. Um, the other was a referee issue. Um, but, uh, I'm not trying to get into how horrendous the officiating was in today's game but um I will say this it was probably the single worst officiated sporting event I have ever seen in my life um with that being said um I'm really excited for this Indiana Fever team. Um, we got a lot of good rookies. Um, Melissa Smith, Queen Egbo, um, Destiny. We got Lexi Hall. We got uh, Emily Engsler. Um, a whole, a whole slew of rookies who can absolutely fall. Um, 
So yeah, I'm expecting some big things out of the Indiana Fever. Now, um, now into the main topic of discussion for tonight, the NBA playoffs. Now, I know I didn't make any kind of predictions on here, but for those of you who know me, you know that I have an absolute obsession with sports and I make all kinds of crazy predictions some of them are absolutely unthinkable to others and some are you know ones that make even you know some of the uh, expert analysts they would, they would agree on some of them. But, um, yeah, as of right now, with the, uh, four series that was just going on, with the, uh, semifinals, I'm exactly 500 on my predictions because this. Well, first of all, um, the Miami Heat closed out against the 76ers, which I kind of figured they would, um, just because Miami's got the better shooting. I mean, yeah, Philly might have Joel Embiid, but... He can't do it all by himself, man. Basketball is a team sport. And that's the exact same reason why the Milwaukee Bucks lost to the Boston Celtics. Now, I predicted a Celtic series win over Milwaukee simply because, you know, Chris Middleton's out. So, without him, Giannis had to really try to be Mr. Everything for Milwaukee, and in the playoffs, you, one guy can't do everything. It's got to be, you got to have contributions from other team from other players, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, Giannis struggled tonight. Um, I mean, Giannis is an absolutely insanely good player, but my man, you are no Reggie Miller. You are not going to get no eight points, nine seconds. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Um, that being said, good luck going forward to the Boston Celtics. My grandmother. Is from uh, Sandwich, Massachusetts, about 15 minutes outside of Boston. So, uh, gotta show a little Boston love right here. Um, and, yeah. And then the Golden State Memphis series with ja, without John Morant. Memphis is just a different team when it comes to playoff basketball. But now during the season when Jaw was out, other guys stepped up tremendously. But when it counted, with Jaw being out, Steph did what Steph does and game six, Clay. Came to play, baby. Uh, th th that's that's one of the uh, predictions that I got wrong, um, because you know, just from what I had seen in the previous series, I was like, man, Golden State's 
like, Clay seems to have fallen off the face of the earth, and then, you know, he steps up, did what he did in game six, and makes everybody look like a bunch of fools, because that's what Clay Thompson and Steph Curry do. Now, the Mavericks and Suns, man. I don't know what happened there. I have absolutely no words. I mean, I quit watching this game in <laughs> in the fourth quarter, man. Um, towards the beginning of the quarter, I quit watching because, I mean, goodness, it was almost a 50-point lead. Like, this is game seven at home, Phoenix. What happened? I mean, give Dallas some credit. They shut Devin Booker down. Now, I'm going to say it. Actually, I'm going to take some words from the Colts. Mo Alley Cox. Man, don't compare... Devin Booker to Kobe again. Like, the kid is good. I wanted Phoenix to win. Don't get me wrong. But, Phoenix is such a young team. I mean, with the exception of Chris Paul. And, speaking, when we speak of Chris Paul, we gotta just acknowledge the fact that this dude is the best player <laughs> to not make the finals. Like, last year I really wanted it for CP3 and it just didn't happen. Giannis freaking went ballistic and him, Chris Middleton, carried Milwaukee to the finals and then uh, the rest is history but moving forward in the playoffs let's see we gonna have the Miami Heat paired up against the Boston Celtics Jimmy Buckets you a good player you a good player dude and of course, y'all got Victor Oladipo, who, let's not even get into that, um, but, um, yeah, Jimmy Butler is simply no match for Jason Tatum. Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, and hell, after tonight, Grant Williams, man. That's that, that right there is where Milwaukee messed up at. The way they were playing defense, they were pretty much giving. Grant Williams, open look after open look on three-point shots, and he must have taken exception to that, to uh, them basically saying, oh, hey, he can't shoot, let him have that shot, you know, and he... Grant Williams really stepped up and said, Giannis, who? I mean, this is not going to take anything away from J JT Jason Tatum's stupendous game six to force this game seven. But, man. Grant Williams, have yourself a day, my guy. You talk about having the game of your life in game seven of the playoffs?
playoffs? Come on now. Mikey Olawolf said, you guys, a little Tennessee love right there. <laughs> I got though a little music reference in here every now and then, you know. All right, but uh, yeah, moving for yeah. Boston's gonna hand man. That's my prediction. They're going to man handle the Miami Heat. I mean, will it be a sweep? I don't think so because. Miami is a gritty team. They, they some fighters. They gonna show up to play. And Jimmy Butler is gonna do what Jimmy Butler does. And of course you got Tyler Hero. Um, you got Duncan Robinson, who saw very little playing time. In the series against Philadelphia for whatever reason, um, which was absolutely mind-boggling to me, considering what this dude has done for Miami. And then you got uh, you, you you got contributions from Victor Oladipo, uh, Bam Adebayo. Um, they just play good team basketball. Um, then the other shit series, barring an absolutely crazy comeback from Chris Paul and the Suns, and actually, that game might be over with. Um, like I said, I quit watching, so uh, yeah, let me just... Look up that score real quick. Oh my goodness. Final score. Mavericks 123. Phoenix 90. Sheesh. Man, that's... Chris Paul. Man. I feel bad for the dude. Honestly, I do. I mean, given what happened in Dallas with the uh, whole uh, fan messing with his family and everything, I mean, shout out to the Mavericks organization for handling that the right way. And, uh, yeah, but, man, to have that happen, and then to come home, then to play absolutely lights out to force, <laughs> to force a game seven, or, you know, I actually... I'm going to back up a little bit on that one because I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I have not I have not watched every game of every series. I just I haven't been able to. I mean, cuz a lot of these games are at night and I work at night, so the games during the week I gotta either just keep up with the score on my phone or, you know, or record it in the case of the Celtics game today, which I'm very glad I recorded that game. That was an absolute thriller to, to watch. was absolutely parched y'all um so it comes down to the last four standing it'll be the Dallas Mavericks 
squaring off against the Golden State Warriors. Um, and, um, man, listen, listen, this is going to be a series. I, man, ain't no doubt in my mind that one's going to seven. That's going to seven. That's going to come right down to possibly the last shot in the series, man. Um, but... Oh, that is, that's, that's going to be interesting. Luca and Draymond going at it for seven games. Things could get really physical. Things could get, things are going to get interesting. There, there, no doubt about that. Absolutely no doubt about that. Huh. As far as who's going to come out on top, man, man, it could go either way. Um, but man, listen, after that performance from Dallas today, you know what? Forget it. Golden State in seven. The finals are going to be the Golden State Warriors. And the Boston Celtics. Y'all heard it here first, baby. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep this up. Keep giving y'all some sports talk. Because, you know, that's something I love. And, uh, listen, y'all, I might need a whole week when I start talking baseball. Because, whew, I don't even know. Um, but I wasn't going to mention anything baseball related. I was going to keep this basketball. But I done brought it up. So I'm going to end with this. How in the world do the Cincinnati Reds throw a no hitter and lose the game? What? How? How does that happen? I... The Reds lost one nothing today to the Pittsburgh Pirates and Pittsburgh did not get a single hit. That's just... Where are you going to go?